Good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're doing well on this Wednesday morning. I've had a good week so far, and I hope you have too. This coming Sunday, we'll be having services at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. We'll be having Sunday school at 10 o'clock, and the adult Sunday school class will be available via Zoom. If you'd like to participate, I, if you, it's the same Zoom information that we use on Wednesday night. If you don't have that, just simply shoot me an email or, or send me a private message, and I'll be glad to get that information to you. I want to read a passage of scripture from the book of Exodus chapter 3. This is when Moses first had his contact with God through something, well, through a burning bush. Exodus chapter 3, beginning in verse 4. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses, and he said, here I am. Then he said, do not come near here. Remove your sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said also, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Then Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt, and have given heed to their cry because of their taskmasters, for I am aware of their sufferings. This was the very first conversation that God had with Moses, the first of many, many conversations. This was God introducing himself to him. He called out to Moses by name, not just simply, hey, you, but Moses, Moses. And so Moses knew he was dealing with a God that knew him personally and intimately. And God went on to say, I have seen the sufferings of, of the Hebrew children down in Egypt, and now I am going to do something about it. For 400 years, the Hebrews had been in bondage and slavery in Egypt. And I'm sure many of them wondered, where is God? Why isn't he doing something? He promised that we would have the promised land up in Canaan. Why are we still down here in Egypt? They may have asked the question, has God forgotten about us? Understand, God is always aware, even if you don't see him. For 400 years since they had been enslaved, the, the Hebrew children waited and watched and wondered. We have to remember God is not blind. God does not forget. God was waiting for the right time to make his move. Sometimes we get impatient. We need to remember that God knows when the right time to move is. Sometimes it might be today. Sometimes it might be tomorrow. It might be next week. With the outbreak that's going on, I think everyone's wondering, when are we going to get back to normal? When are we going to get a vaccine for this thing? You know, when are we going to be able to do all the things we've been able to do? And I wish I had a good answer for that question, but I don't. All I know is that God is fully aware of everything that's going on, and he'll move when the time is right. The question is, will we have the patience to wait on him? Let me encourage you to have patience with God, to wait, to trust his judgment, to trust his wisdom, to make his move when the time is right. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for loving us and watching over us. Father, help us to have patience, Father. Help us to trust in you. Father, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a good day. I look forward to seeing you very soon.